there was a, like a little pain. Oh, sorry. There's a little pain inside uh, like the door. He shot that first and then he started shooting like through the wooden part of the door and that's where uh, Chris got hit. And then he opened the door after he reloaded his weapon and started shooting Kyle. We stayed in there because we knew he probably wouldn't go back in there because he just shot someone. And then we moved our blockade more towards the door. And then he came back because I think he heard us. And then he started shooting and that's when I got hit. You started shooting again? And did, you, did you get hit? Uh, just grazed, that's it. Where? Uh, in the back of the shoulder. I was thinking, like, I was terrified because I didn't know if I was going to make it out or not. That's what was rushing through my head the whole time. We were playing dead, so, like, if he did come through, he would see, like, maybe that he shot us and he wouldn't shoot us again. actually my sub at the time. His name is Mr. West, Chris West. He was the one that ran outside and had the courage enough to see what was going on. And he personally saw the shooter. He personally saw the shotgun. He personally saw that he was wearing a trench coat. He ran back into our classroom, made sure we were safe before he ran back out and pulled the fire alarm for the rest of the school. My teacher, Mr. West, actually exited the classroom and went into the hallway, and I was peeking around the door to see what, what was going on. And he came running back and said that it was a school shooter. And at this time, we've heard probably four or five shots, and said the school shooter came out, and he saw him. He was in a black trench coat, had a sawed-off shotgun, and he grabbed his backpack, and he was going back into the classroom that he initially started shooting at. Everyone, we were like, everyone, you know, just shut up, shut up. You got to be quiet. If you, you hear, he hears you yelling, he's going to come in here. We started immediately barricading the door. As soon as we got in the classroom, and me and a couple fellow other classmates were trying to calm the girls down because they were just crying, bawling, you know, that, like, it was real. Like, it was actually happening to our school. I knew all of them. I mean, like I said, it's a small town. Everyone knows everyone. I'm just, just blown away at the magnitude of it all.